Good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joshua Bamidele. I welcome you to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video. You are welcome to New M Network International YouTube channel. This is a channel where you have wonderful skits, movies, spoken word songs, wonderful things that are really going to bless your life. So please kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel and then click on that notification bell for you to be notified in case we drop any of our new content. Do well to like, comment and share our content anytime we release them so thank you so much i'll see you again yeah thank you bye The story you're about to watch is a story of a leader, a leader of a student fellowship. This is a lover of God. He so much has this art, a genuine art for the Lord Jesus Christ. He's a person that tries as much as possible to follow up new converts in his fellowship. So on one of these occasions while he was in the fellowship, a young man approached the fellowship, entered into the fellowship, a young looking man dressed like a very very son of a pastor alas this uh, leader was so happy excited that this uh, young man is in the fellowship well, as much as he was thinking about the greatness of what this man will later become in the fellowship his heart was not in agreement he decided to walk to him and um, have a discussion with him so while he got close to him he, he took a deep breath opened his eyes onto God and said a silent prayer in his heart that God please I I don't know what is wrong with me while I'm looking intently at this man can you just tell me who is this man tell me about it his eyes was open briefly he saw something he saw himself going into a deep pit a dark pit deep and while he was going he was moving with this kind of very very high speed so he was moving into that deep dark deep pit and he felt his hand touching some stones he felt his hand touching some hard things and instantly within seconds his eyes was opened then he knew that there is a problem so he decided to invite him to his house hi bro Jude. I'm so happy to have you around. You would have entered the room, but the room is hot. You know the sun. Oh no, that's not a problem. This place is good, sir. I'm so happy to be here, sir. So, how are you, my brother? Are you fine, sir? Yes, I am. Very well, sir. Are you enjoying the love of Christ? Yes, I am. Very well, sir. Are you experiencing the freshness in your work with God? Yes, I am. Very well, sir. In fact, God has been so faithful to me. My devotional life comes with newness and freshness, sir. Beautiful. Can you gist me more on this? In all humility, sir, my life with God has been so wonderful and great. I pray at least an hour in the morning and at night. I studied my Bible, I don't just read it. And to the glory of God, 
I can't really say the number of hours I do study the Bible. Oh, that's great. I'm so glad and encouraged by this. Thank God for your life, brother. But my question is this. How come do you grow this much? Do you have a mentor? A disciple? Or a spiritual father? In all humility, sir, I don't have. And I don't think I need one. The Holy Spirit has been mentoring me. Really? Yes, sir. Oh, give me some minutes. Let me get you a glass of water. Okay, sir. What you are burdening my heart with? This brother looks so blameless and pure. What did I just see? What did I just see? Oh Lord, Holy Spirit. What should I do? Lord, what should I do? Thank you for what you are about to do. As the people of the world uses sleeping dogs on liquid and get results. I pray that the same power that compared Belliam's horse to speak will compare Jude to reveal who he truly is. I pray that as he takes this water, he will not remain normal. May he also give the confession of soul encounter, stating, What will you have me do, Lord? Amen. So sorry for keeping you waiting, my brother. Oh, no problem, sir. Please, here's the water. Oh, thank you, sir. So, you take the water first. Then I'll get something to eat soon. Oh, no, no problem, sir. Not really. I am okay with this. So refreshing. Jude. Let your spirit hear me. Who are you? Who are you in the obscurity? Who are you in the hidden? Speak in Jesus' name. I, 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 I'm Jude. My, my friend calls me Scorpion. I, I'm into Sivra. 
Dave Lichtings. I'm into thuggery. I rob people with my guns. I even rob a pastor. Boss Scorpion! Jack, man. Double toilet for you. Jack, man. Long life, small but mighty. Jack, man. Anyone that tries you is ready to explode. Put in the soap now. Everything is fine, boss. When I'm here, it's my next location, boss. You are going to drop in the pastor house for the next few days. Yes, boss. Be prepared. Never ready. Don't fuck up. No fuck up. That's boss. Boss mask. Boss scorpion. The mighty man in town. The red man that crossed every seas and come back alive. Yeah. I hear you, boss. I'm into humanizing. Abuse many girls. I've aborted for many ladies. Do you know for now? I'm good. Say what you want to say. I'm into this girl. I beg, I bought it. <laughs> Did I, you know this is the abortion? <laughs> Why now? You know that I am. A chorister? Sure. And I don't care. <laughs> Why now? Oh, see, Jude. Look, it's either you have bought it or <laughs> you bought it. Jude, Jude. I'll see you later. Jude, now. I'm a wicked and a heartless person. I kill anything. That comes my part. I joined fellowship because I saw your sister. And I am bent on getting now. Jesus. I have lost my conscience since. The question now is, why am I feeling this guilty? I don't know what just opened up my wickedness onto me. I have dined with the devil. <laughs> but now, I feel the pains have caused people. Ha! Will I not die? Jesus! Jesus! I am feeling a pounding on my chest. I am now feeling a heavy load on my head. Am I not doomed? <laughs> Sir, here is your money. I stole it while you stepped in. Jesus! Jesus! So truly, one can employ the supernatural to put the natural into obedience. Yeah. Ah. My chest. Am I not doing? I'm feeling guilty. So let me be going. Let me go and hand this off. Won't the people have, have caused pain come to kill me? Jude, if you kill yourself now, that will be the worst decision you have ever made. The Bible says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy lady like you, and I will give you rest. Ah, ah. Jesus Christ is knocking at the door of your heart. Open it. Ah, condemnation. Condemnation will kill me. Once you accept Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, you will stay with me for a while. 
though the consequences of some of your sins can come haunting you, but with Jesus Christ, you say through them all. Are you ready to accept Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, bring your hands. Let's pray together. But, but say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Don't die in your sin and don't be destroyed in your sin. Nobody might see you, but God sees you. Nobody might know what you are doing, but God knows what you are doing. So don't don't be destroyed. Don't let this don't let the devil destroy you. Don't let Satan destroy you. God is knocking at the door of your heart and is asking you, are you ready for him? Are you ready for him? Can you just be like this young man that said, yes, I am? Say, yes, I am to him. And he's going to heal your land. He's going to deliver you. And he's going to set you free. He's going to repair your life beyond your comprehension. This is what I know about my Lord Jesus Christ. He is the God who can deliver a man. No matter how enormous, numerous, or big your sins are. God is so much interested in you. Why not say yes I am today? Why not say yes Lord today? And if you are ready to give your life to Christ, you just have to say unto me. Say Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I know I cannot save myself. Please forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me from every of all my unrighteousness. Write my name in the book of life. Today I take you as my Lord and personal Savior. Continue to lead me and continue to be my Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name. So I congratulate you. And I know that the Lord is going to be with you. He's going to keep you. And He's going to preserve you from falling. So thank you so much. And God bless you. Bye.